Hello friends, this is Frank from Germany and welcome in my new studio. You see, I have a white wall here and I can do a lot of things with this, you see. Um, yes, I hope you like it and uh, now I want to explain what uh, I did the last three months. Uh, a lot of things and maybe you have a little bit of time and you can watch my video. First of all, I want to explain the XATC. X80C, it's the extremely automatic tool changer, and I changed to the uh, X80Z 0.2 because I want uh, safe or don't use the expensive Gata groups. Now you can see um, a successful move from uh, the X80C 0.2. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Welcome back! Also, I had a very great journey to Poland, Warsaw, and um, uh, Sebastian Safran, uh, he is a member of the Chili Pepper community, invited me and I fly from Frankfurt to Warsaw, and then we had a great time. You see some photos here from our uh, meet and greet. Also, I make a um, little interview video, you can um, uh, watch this. Uh, in my video channel. You can also get the uh, YouTube URL from uh, the video descriptions. The good thing was uh, we had a lot of experience. He made uh, his new uh, K40 laser and so on. But the good thing was he gave me a present and uh, a deep thankful and warmful thank you to Sebastian. It was very nice because I got uh, Zonestar P802 um, 3D printer. And this 3D printer is amazing. It's, uh, I learned a lot about the new 3D print technique and I can use this for my future projects in special ZX displays. Here is an example uh, from uh, uh, solar dispensing, I think close to perfect and I think it is the best that I realized this in the next season. The next season is now because uh, the sun is gone and now the fall will start here in Germany and uh, I think I have a lot of time to realize something. And also I have a little game changer for you. The game changer. The game changer it's interesting because you know I use this one for um, for uh, the solar dispensing and also for pick and place. You see Exxon Arduino with a gear, uh, Gerber shield, also MOSFET drivers and so on. And I try to control this over Chili Pepper on JavaScript. But the game changer now is why? The question is why we make this so complicated. The solution, it's very easy. It's a 3D print board because everything what I need is a heat bed for soldering the PCB, a 3D point board has this and we can control this over the G-code, that's a very nice thing. And the good thing is we can use G-code. It is not necessary to use this asynchrone event based programming in Chili Pepper. We can use everything in G-code and we can program something in G-code. The good question now is which CNC or 3D print controller I choose. 
That is the thing that I'm thinking a little bit about it. First of all, I want to say also a deep full and warm full thank you to Arthur Wolf. He sent me one of his uh, uh, smoothie boards. You see this here. The smoothie board, it's not just only a 3D printer board, it's also a CNC board. But the good thing also on this board is you can um, program your own modules. And this is very nice because you can control everything over your modules. In example, in our in my dis X Displays project, I can control the solar dispensing. I can control the pick and place header, and so on. And I can develop my own modules if I need some special functions. But the cool thing is, everything is here. Everything what I need is here. Okay, I need a five stepper mode because the first three normally it's for X, Y, and Z axis. The second is for the stepper motor, or the fourth is for the stepper motor for the X for the PNP header. And the sixth is for the solar dispensing stepper for the auger pump. And also we have a big MOSFET, then we can control the heat bed and so on. A lot of things, a lot of to do, and yes, I think it's a good solution to put everything in G-code and uh, don't use uh, chili pepper for complicated um, functions. After the building from the set, the Sonestar 3D printer, I print a lot <laughs> and I use a lot of filament. But I think that, uh, yes, you have to learn a lot and uh, I'm sitting uh, in my bureau, uh, control this, um, uh, 3D printer and also add a capacitive sensor. Now, the good thing is um, I print a lot here. You see some examples. And um, uh, you have a lot of to learn, but uh, I like this new technique and uh, I'm very impressed how uh, stable it is. Yes, if you need this here, you, you can't, uh, here, you can't a little bit. Uh, bend this but it's it's very hard and also i uh, wrote um, a specialist for filament here in germany and they have a new filament uh, uh, you see this here uh, uh, the name from this new filament i don't forget i forgot his name for this filament but i sent this man an email and asked him for some probes and he uh, brought me back this filament is extremely stable and now my idea is maybe we print out the X80C carousel on a 3D printer. This has a lot of good points because it's not necessary to have a CNC machine at this moment. It's enough you have a 3D printer and also um, it's very cheap. Yes, you don't need so um, special material. It's not necessary to mill something or so. You can put this on your 3D printer or give this to a man on 3D hops and print this for maybe six, seven or 10 euros. I think it's a good solution and uh, uh, I want to uh, build this, you know, we can call this X80C uh, 0.3. Okay, that's all for me for this time. And um, I hope you like it. Please thumb up and also uh, wrote me some comments. Uh, and then we can speak about uh, some special things, if you like, in special of X80C or not. And um, don't forget the X Displays project. It's running. It's not a problem. I need only the X80C to um, make this process full automatically. It's not necessary you, you change uh, the end melts. X80C will do this for you. And then uh, I think uh, we can uh, make uh, some solar dispensing and so on.